Welcome to our Angular tutorial. Today, we're tackling a common issue that many developers encounter when working with forms. Our viewer has a question about disabling a button based on the input field's value. They want to ensure that the search button remains inactive until the user enters a search term. However, despite their efforts, the button is always disabled. Let's dive into the details and see how we can solve this problem together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you work through that resolution. Let's continue on. Let's start by understanding the issue. You want to disable the search button until the user enters a search term in the input field. In your code, you are using Angular's two-way data binding with ng-model. This is correct, but we need to ensure that the input field is properly bound to the list filter variable. Now, let's look at the button's disabled property. You have it set to disabled based on the condition list filter. This means the button will be disabled if list filter is falsy. Make sure that the list filter variable is initialized properly in your component. If it's undefined or null, the button will always be disabled. Finally, ensure that your input field is correctly capturing user input. If everything is set up correctly, the button should enable as soon as the user types something. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To disable a button click when an input field is empty in Angular 4, you need to use a template reference variable. You can do this with either ref prefix or hash prefix. Remember, a model reference variable is different from a model input variable. The scope of a reference variable is the entire model, so avoid using the same name more than once. For more details, you can check the Angular documentation on template syntax. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To disable a button click when an input field is empty in Angular 4, you can use two-way data binding with ng-model. Set up your input field to bind to a variable, and use that variable to control the button's disabled state. In your TypeScript file, initialize the variable and create a method to clear the input. This ensures that the button is only enabled when there is text in the input field. And that's it guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.